we'll guide you through how to stream your screen on YouTube. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, come to YouTube and then what you need to do is go to the top right and go and press on the create button and then click on go live. When you get taken to this page here, we've got two different options. Either you can go and set up a stream now or a later date, we'll do one now. And as you can see, we then have the option for our built-in webcam stream or streaming software. In this case, we want to go and use streaming software, so go and click on go. And if you don't go and get that pop-up when you go to the YouTube live page, just come over and go and click on the stream page. And here we are. And so what we need to do to go and stream our screen is to go and have software. So a good piece of software, which is free, is called OBS. So open up a new tab and go and search for OBS. It's called Open Broadcaster Software. And then all you need to do is go and choose the OS you use. I use Windows, so I'll click there and it will then go and download. So wait for it to finish downloading. And then all you need to do is go and install it just like any other application. And after you've installed it, go and open it up. And then here it is. And when you first set it up, you probably won't have any scenes here. I've already gone and got it though, so I've got a few, um, but we can go configure this in just a moment. But firstly, just come over to the bottom right and go and click on your settings. And you want to come over to the left here and go and click on stream. And you want to go and click on service and go and select YouTube just here. And then what you can do is connect your YouTube account here, or you can just go and use a stream key. In this case, I'll click on use stream key. And to get your stream key, come back to this page here and your key is this thing here. So go and press copy just like so. And then you can come back to OBS and you can click on this box and right click and go and press copy and then click apply just like so. Then head over to the left and click on output and just go and set the output mode to simple and come into streaming. So for the video bitrate, I tend to use 2000. This is enough to get you HD quality. Audio bitrate is fine at 160. When it comes to the encoder, mine says NVENC as I have an NVIDIA graphics card. So if you have one as well, you can use it or just use X264. And then for the encoder, I just like to have medium as it balances everything. Click apply when you make any changes. Then come to audio and make sure you select your correct microphone and then come to video and then here you want to go and choose what quality you're streaming in. So the main thing you want to look at is the output scaled resolution as that is what you're actually going to be streaming. So I've got mine set to 1080p and then I go and have the frame rate set to 30. If you want to stream with lower quality, then you can as well. And if you start to experience lag, then what you can do is lower this scaled resolution and you can come back to your output and lower the video bit rate as well accordingly to go and just get the right match between quality and not having lag as well. Then click OK. And then what we need to do is add our screen here. So if you haven't got a scene in the bottom left here, click on the plus button and we'll just name this screen. Then click OK and come into sources and click the plus button. And then you need to go and click on display capture, press OK. And you can then choose which screen you want to use. So I'll use this one here, then click OK and there it is. And then when I go and press on start streaming like so, it's going to go and start streaming. So go and wait a moment and then it should go and detect the stream. As you can see, excellent connection. And what you can do before you go and start streaming is you can go and change the title by clicking on edit here um, and you can choose the title, the description and the customization here and a few other settings. 